Good morning, everybody. Chris from Machine Education with the four majors in this update for the 9th of October 2013. Okay, four majors per usual. Looking at the Euro US dollar to start with using our FX8 ultimate template. Okay, so what have you seen? Well, mixed results on Euro. I mean, we've had occasions where we've seen price um, very much looking positive and the long term sentiment has been really much indicating that. However, past couple of days we have seen a lot of positiveness to start the day with i.e. the European session however as we've gone on into the day we have seen this movement failing and you can quite clearly see that the candlesticks are still very much blue we are still trading above that monthly Fib retracement level here at the 50% line we are trading above all the moving averages our RMO is above however the more I look at it this as it's moving higher you can quite clearly see it's flat the, the MACD awesome and if that's flat then you know that there's pretty much no trend. You can quickly see over here, for example, we had it just further back where price is moving higher. However, the MAC started to maintain that negativity and enough, and, and sure enough, we actually saw price pulling back. So this similar scenario is happening here. And it seems as though what we could see is a price returning back towards this 50% retracement level here on our monthly, which is prior support and resistance level. Uh, not too long ago and where price is trading right now to that level is a good healthy 73 pips away uh, if price is not making any higher highs then we're going to be making lower lows and you can see the daily as it stands right now is looking like a very bearish engulfing candle uh, compared to yesterday's candle so if we drop down to our four hour time frame you can see there's a number of indecisiveness on that particular time frame uh, you can see quite clearly here's the previous high that we had after the breakout the, uh, the continuation since then, however, price has been very indecisive. Uh, we've actually seen a lot of um, days, current days, where we've seen a lot of indecisiveness. And the 50 period moving average has actually been helping as a, as a current support on that time frame. And you can see that the trend uh, over this period has still been up. It's making swing highs. However, uh, the last four hours in particular, pretty much taking all that whack. And uh, you can see that within the last six hour, uh, 16 hours or so, we've had a lot of indecision candles. And... Is this potentially a tweezer top? We've got to see the next wire counter closing low in this consolidation low, as well as breaking low, uh, lower than this price support and resistance level, intraday support and resistance level here at 1354.92, where price is trading right now. Get below that, then ultimately what we should be looking for is further shorting opportunities back towards that monthly fib, uh, which we've just come from, which is at 1347.40. You can see that my shorter term time frames, we have a lot of negativity, and the R squared is complementing that selling. Uh, you can see the RMO, however, is still above the zero line, and the MACD is still below here. So, if you are trading a, a four-hour entry, then you would have to wait for this um, indicator where we're seeing price breaking below the zero line over here in the RMO. If you're using a, a one-hour entry, let's have a look at the one-hour entry. You can quite clearly see that we had a lot of uh, potential trades here. Uh, this is below now as we speak. We've got to wait for this four. There's another hour, uh, sorry, eight minutes to go before we see price. Uh, getting below this however you can see the institution moving average is still below price actually supporting her so it's very very important if this to be genuine negativity we need to see a nice bearish engulfing counter close lower than that hourly as well as this price support and resistance level to so then dictate, dictate that we should be looking for uh, more for negativity to proceed on the intraday time frame so just be a patient and wait for that to, to actually occur moving on to sterling against the us dollar here again similar similar setup Okay, we've had a lot of attempts to the upside. We ha have been trading above the monthly FIB here at the, uh, sorry, this is not the monthly FIB, my apologies, above the 1600, which is a psychological round number. But we've been attempting the weekly FIB uh, level on a, a number of occasions through September and uh, now going into the latter part of, uh, sorry, the early parts of October. Um, the prior attempt of the weekly FIB, we did have a lot of indecision. Then we had this little breakout, not a lot of sentiment in that one. We wanted to see a pullback and then the continuation the pullback actually just took everything away so we had a lot of um, indecisiveness here it took it all away and subsequently price reverted back towards the prior support and resistance level at 1600 psychologic is still above it so the candlesticks are still po pointing uh painting a, a positive um, setup however you could see that we're not making any higher highs the candle in play right now we've seen a lot of um, Negativity on the Asian session, in fact, and that's taken away pretty much what we saw yesterday um, happening. So very, very aggressive. You can see the intraday setup very much negative, and the R squared is complementing that selling on the on the smaller time frames. However, we have a mixed bag here on our longer term positiveness, but there's a bit of weakness in between all of this. 
and that's clearly what we're seeing at the moment now. So the RMO is painting one a picture of positiveness, but however the Osmo is clearly trading below. So there's no true sentiment in this upside. So what we should do is wait for the confirmation um, to go green and this to maintain above the, the, the red level here, or the zero level, and then we should see a potential buy opportunity back up to these current highs we've just come from. Your solar is Frank, here again, moving lower, making swing lows, depicting a downside trend, and the institution moving average on that daily is way above price, so very, very negative indeed, a lot of space. You can see where price is trading right now, it was a price support and resistance level, and price has broken through it over the past week or so, and now consolidating under that week. We've, uh, we're expecting price to rally to the downside back towards that weekly fib as well as the monthly down the bottom here. That failed to materialize as we saw that the we had selling. However, the Osmo wasn't really agreeing with any of that. And subsequently, was we didn't have enough sentiment behind that move. And subsequently, price has now reverted and re-attempting that price support and resistance. So you can see it's pretty much trying to cling on to this major support and resistance level at the 90.73 and change mark. You can see a lot of buying sentiment coming through on the intraday. However, the long-term sentiment, very much negative. So if this is to be positive, we do need to see a daily close above this major support and resistance level here. And then what we could do is potentially trade back up towards that 23.6 level at the 92.87 market change or back towards the institution. However, until that actually occurs, we're still looking for negativity on this particular trade. You can see the majority of the, the, the swings, uh, the major swings are low. Swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low, swing low not making a lower swing but not making a new swing high so here you can see it's making a swing high here however not breaking the prior swing okay so we're going to this little wedge formation at the underside and if we go down to our four hour time frame you'll see how that's becoming more there we go so there's a major support and resistance level at the breakout price continued lower for a period of time and subsequently just recently we've seen the rmo starting to move higher and you can spin you can see that the OSMO indicator has spent more time above than below. So if this is going to be a genuine negative sentiment um, trend, then you wanted the let uh, to see less green and more red, and subsequently that's not been the case. So here, look for a potential change in market sentiment or market uh, trends. Uh, swing low, swing low, swing low, breach, but not breaking the price of one resistance level, and reattempt it yet again. So we need to see a nice four hour in particular breakout over here to confirm a nice bullish uh, bullish change in market sentiment then the pullback and then what we could do is potentially look to trade towards that institution moving average which is a healthy 124 pips away but ultimately back up towards that weekly fib that we've just come from which is a healthy 200 pips away so be patient on this particular pair there's still another hour to go before we see the four hour counter close and then what we could do if we get a do get one then we want to see um, the candlesticks going blue the rmo getting above this area here and the macd spending more time above that before we even contemplate looking for a long on this particular pair. You start a Japanese yen. Here again, we have had a breach of this, this wedge pattern that we've seen price trading within, not making any major swing highs, not making any major swing lows until just recently when, when price was actually using the institution moving average for a period of time through uh, the early parts of August through mid-August and going into the early parts or mid-September, we actually saw price bouncing quite aggressively on the institution moving average each time she fell. However, on the bounce just recently, not really maintaining that momentum on the bounce and subsequently not making a swing high. And what happened was price has now faltered at the 50% retracement level here on our monthly. And now what happened was bouncing, however, not getting any true sentiment behind it just recently, here, going through the latter parts of September, going into the early parts of October, we had a bearish engulf and counter close lower than the institution for the first time in almost a full year, guys. So that was a very negative sentiment. And subsequently, the days after that, we saw price falling lower. But falling into the weekly FIB here level, uh, weekly FIB and a lot of indecision candles. Then we had a, a, a breakout candle um, on Friday. Subsequently, Monday, we see the pullback. And now we're actually seeing price trading on the upper end of this, uh, this, this, this uh, weekly FIB. So here we want to see true sentiment move. You can see that the daily in play right now is quite aggressive, or very positive on the Asian session. And um, if it maintains this level and it stays above the weekly, then there's still no trade because it's telling us that we should be shorting opportunities, but we're trading above a, a weekly major support and resistance level here in the shape of the, the weekly FIB. We do need to get to maintain below that level. And if we do, then start targeting the downside. However, if it's on the upper side of that, then there's more by a positive sentiment 
and you can see that the indicator box over here is predominantly intraday looking more positive than negative and we have to be well aware of that the RMO is pointing negative the MACD has clearly been below the zero line all this time so we should be looking for negative sentiment okay so it's painting yellow oh, sorry red uh, everything is red yes we have a pullback but that's a pullback against market uh, direction or long-term direction this is in this case is looking very much um, negative we have seen swing low swing low swing low swing low and price is testing that right now so we don't want to trade against market trend if it is if this is to be positive sentiment it has to get back above the week uh, the the institution moving average in order to be to do to be positive long term okay so until that happens we're still looking for that that um sentiment to be more bearish uh, in focus so that's it guys short and sweet please if you are using this template any of the screen education templates to please follow the rules of the template very very important and then on top of that to back it up with some money management Keep it as simple as possible. Do all your major support and resistance levels. I do suggest that you take time out during the weekend to do all this so that when you are trading from Monday to Friday, you're doing less uh, analysis and more uh, trading. And that's the reason why far better to wait for the market to close on the weekend. Do all your major support and resistance levels. Look at your, your monthly, weekly, fibs. Then look at your daily and see exactly where price is trading according to all those major support and resistance levels. And look for those potential trades keeping as simple as possible and using the FX8 Ultimate Template as your, your guide. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you have a fantastic trading day today, and I'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Until then, you guys trade serenely. Bye.